everybody. Good day to everyone who's watching right now. Welcome to Dr. D's Dose, another episode where I will be sharing with you knowledge on nutrition, fitness, exercise, physiology, everything, positivity, motivations, health, beauty, and more, more, more. Okay, welcome to Dr. D's Dose, episode 21. And this episode is entitled, is entitled, okay, exercise. Is it medicine? Ah, okay. This is a very, very exciting episode, okay, uh, where I'll be talking about exercise physiology, okay? So, you guys, if you have just sauntered in, okay, uh, if you have just kept walk in, ah, okay, I want you to drop me a hello. Hello, Dr. D. Hello, DD. Hello, Sayang. Okay, hello, darling. Okay, all right. And then drop it in the comment section. And then uh, I know that you have heard me. Okay, clearly. And then you've seen me clearly as well. Okay. And then in a short while, I am going to check who's on board with us today on Doctors D's Dose. Okay. Now, everybody, first thing you need to do is uh, you like this post, of course. Okay. And then after that, you share it out. Okay. Don't forget to uh, put share DD after you have tagged a friend. Okay. Tag somebody. Tag a family member. Tag somebody you're thinking of. Tag a, a, a relative. Tag a, uh, your best friend. Tag a colleague. All right, because good things are meant to be shared, right? Okay, sharing is caring, they say, right? So that's what we are doing in Dr. D's Dose Talk Show every Wednesday at 6 p.m. Okay, and of course, okay, this uh, Dr. D's Dose Talk Show is uh, powered by www.ddfitness.com. And of course, my my very strong expertise, okay, my main man, Panji Shafi'i of Senyo Manis Productions. Okay, let's take a look at Senyo Manis Productions video. I'm having a fun time because of the music and all that. Okay, it gives me the oh, all right, everyone. That's the uh, that's the kind of energy that we want every day, isn't it? Okay, when we wake up till the very very time we fall asleep. Okay, we want that kind of energy. All right. So where do you get your energy? Okay, now many people okay needs the energy from the food you eat, but of course, again, right? Do you know that exercise gives you? energize you all right it endorphins you and then it energizes you okay now uh everybody have you actually shared it okay oh, i see uh some uh somebody say romina jaffa okay salam dr dd alhamdulillah can watch you live yes okay i'm very happy that you are watching me live okay very nice thank you very much everyone and i see nora hakim azar sharif as well all right and then wow i in coffee aziz many many of you all right and then we have ifa jufri hi very nice okay uh farhana begum as well and then farhana begum please say hello to your mom okay uh because she uh she dropped um a, a facebook post and says that the mom knows me 10 years ago okay and then i encourage her to exercise with me yes yeah? so hello to mummies as well okay you guys if your mom is next to you all right all your daughters and all that say dr d say hello okay everyone okay dr d's dose episode 21 this is is exercise medicine okay now all right but first of all have you shared okay i see near what is someone on the line rohani city rohani all right and then after that rosiana rahim as well all right don't forget i want to see some names being being tagged okay sharifa parazila i see as well jam rnn okay i want you to text someone okay take a friend take uh some your best friend 
okay? And tag your husband. Ah, tag your husband or tag your boyfriend, okay? So again, all right, when you, uh, when you have the head of the family and the king of the family, the queen of the family, all right, uh, talking about health and all that, okay? We share knowledge and then the, the family knows more about health and that's where we actually inculcate, okay, healthy habits in our children and our family, okay? So we'll do this together, guys, okay? All right, now, first of all, let's talk about exercise okay but of course let me do a little bit of introduction okay for those of you who is your first time in dr d's dose or who have not known me at all okay my name is dr dd mahmoud okay i'm going to show you my profile in a short while there you go all right i'm the regional head of uh, edith cowan university ran uh, academic adjunct senior lecturer uh, of international collaborations of the School of Medical and Health Sciences at Edith Cowan University, Australia. Okay, I'm also a consultant and research scientist. Um, I'm an exercise physiologist and nutritionist, as well as a TEDx speaker and your celebrity talk show host. I'm also the founder of Okay, Fat to Feed Asia. Okay, Fat to Feed, um, Fat to Feed Singapore, Malaysia. Okay, Fat to Feed RTM, Fat to Feed, uh, University of Malaya. You know, I do a lot of Fat to Feed. Okay, uh, from obese, from obesity to being fit, and of course, I'm also uh, the founder of uh, Walking Football for Health. If you notice, right, the the at the end is the word for health. Okay, now exercise. We always know that exercise we need it for health. All right. Now, just now I was asking you, you don't have any energy exercise. Isn't that strange? Because actually, right, how many of you? I want to ask you a question. How many of you? All right, you you feel that oh, okay lah, I want to conserve energy. Okay, uh, so I don't want to exercise. Okay, the more you don't exercise, the more you notice that you tend to be very very tired easily. And sometimes you just don't have any energy, right? And that's why sometimes, okay, um, not sometimes, a lot of times, okay, people come up to me and say, Didi, where do you get your energy from? Then I said, okay, apart from, you know, sleeping well, okay, and then after that, apart from eating well, all right, uh, managing your stress and all that, one of the things that helps me to get more energy is exercise. And again, okay, if you are in good health and all that, it gives you more energy as well, right? So today is a very exciting uh, program. Okay, episode whereby we are going to share things about uh, good health and how exercise helps you. It's exercise medicine. Okay, but first of all, okay, uh, let's let's see what happens to the body as we age, right? Okay, after middle age, okay, what happens to the body? Okay, after middle age, we lose about 3% of muscle strength, okay, every year, okay, on the average, okay? So basically, uh, boys and girls, okay, ladies and men, okay, we actually, after the age of a uh, middle age, we lose 3% of muscle strength. And we also lose, okay, we also lose 1% every year of bone density mass, right? You see, so you lose, you lose the, um, uh, the porosity of your bone, okay? That means your bone becomes weaker, all right? So every year. Now, when you lose your bone, when you lose your muscles, you tend to be, okay, because of the loss, okay, you become weaker all right now that's why okay people especially okay for women at after uh, the age of menopause so five years after menopause 15 percent of their peak bone mass right will be lost you know that's a lot you know all right and then after that you notice that the incidences of um you know when you're, you're you fall and then your bone breaks you know and then there's this um uh, uh medical condition called osteoporosis right you see so that comes in especially when we are in our seniors age right so again what do we do okay ah and then how many of you notice right as we age right and then you tend to put on weight easily right uh you know last time you used to eat a lot you know and then after that right now you eat little bit also you put on weight right now it's because when you lose your muscle weight as well right and then what happens is that uh your metabolism goes down all right Remember, I always tell everyone that when you want to increase your metabolism, that means you don't want to put on weight or you want to weight manage well, you need to, um, you know, imp uh, improve your strength. So that means you maybe you do uh, uh, carry weights, you know, resistance, stretch band, dumbbells, you know, uh, go to the gym, okay, and then do, uh, do a workout with uh, resistance, right? So that's the thing that we need to think about right now, okay? So... How many of you, okay, feel, you know, the difference in, okay, answer me, okay? How many of you feel the difference? If you exercise, what do you feel? Can you write it down right now, okay, in the comment section? And then I will, I will go to your posting and I will read it out. What do you feel when you exercise? Okay, so let's take a look right now who's on board, okay? So write it down. What do you feel when you exercise? How different? 
what 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 does your body feel all right so let me know let me know okay so let's see right okay hang on okay so many people is here yeah you feel energetic okay fazila manap say she feels energetic i so agree all right now many people right some i think uh who who else i i've heard of this story okay dr d i want to exercise but i'm so tired so what i do is that i actually go to sleep okay so i actually go to sleep so after that when i go to sleep right and then i wake up so i think i need more sleep okay i i don't have the energy to 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 do exercise you know so i told this particular person i said no you get up okay you do 10 minutes of movements okay a movement and then you will notice that you have more energy to do more things all right so again everyone okay capitalize on the exercise time all right so again you have 24 hours you and i have 24 hours right so how do you have more energy in 24 hours of course you must look after your sleep and all that but then exercise all right so very good okay feel refreshed and more energetic sharifah farazila says okay rosna abu says yes feel feel energized okay very good and then oh yes and then exercise does help in uh, making you have a quality nap that's what nerwati sahmat say okay right uh when i'm looking at the questions okay one of the questions that, that i received can you also drop your questions in the in the comment section what do you want to know about exercise okay let me answer one of the question that was asked okay uh by someone okay by someone here let me see uh okay uh okay is exercising uh at okay is exercising at night yeah okay uh this this uh question uh, uh i was reading it just now okay i saw this question so is exercising at night okay probably after 9 p.m good okay now again uh rule of the thumb is that actually when you have uh when you uh actually exercise at night can be a sleep inducer okay that will increase your quality of sleep okay and a stress relaxer as well so that means like newati says when she exercises she she does cycling and all that and then after that she goes to sleep all right and then she feels that wow she can nap quality nap all right now again uh, there are some people who um i i would advise against high intensity type of exercise you know very high intensity types of exercise because if you're not fit all right it takes a while longer for your heart rate to go down to stabilize that's where sometimes you feel that you cannot sleep all right so again okay you have to listen to your body so try to have about say maybe after your exercise and all that try, try to have about an hour or two and then after that you go to bed after that right so again uh if you are that's why if we are a little bit uh you know uh, uh lower on the fit uh being fit and all that right so you need more cool down time all right so that's why exercise you need warm up right of course and then you do the main exercise and then you need a nice long cool down time that's where you practice your breathing and all that to stabilize your heart rate so that you can actually go to sleep now for those of you who wants to exercise okay try to exercise in the morning okay in the morning if you want to look after your metabolism you don't want to put on weight okay you want to be really energized for the whole day long and you want to feel confident all right because you get it out uh you know you get it done and out of the way because most people when they procrastinate all right when they say okay lah, later later uh, later lah, five minute later five minute later ten minute later one hour later tomorrow later okay next year later all right so at the end of it you end up not doing it okay so many people if you have the time okay so put your one hour of exercise and how many hours of exercise do you actually need okay now somebody was asking me do you actually how many hours of exercise do we need uh is there such a thing called over exercise yeah okay now uh guidelines from the world health organization okay they said that one hour of exercise okay 45 minutes to 60 minutes a day all right is recommended okay on 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 most days okay um about 300 uh, minutes per week all right now take note of this okay i've actually uh, uh presented uh okay take note of the date okay on the 6th of april is the international day of sports and physical activity since 2013 okay now this year okay 2022 is the international day of sports for development and peace now why i mentioned this is because okay i um i have been invited to uh, pre uh I, I presented um when world health organization came up with the uh, ruling about in in november last year that we need about 300 minutes of exercise and all that okay i actually presented for one of the universities in asia okay uh, about the need to exercise uh 60 minutes per day you know 300 minutes per week according to the world health organization all right so as long as you're exercising about 300 minutes per week now take note okay even disabled are encouraged to exercise that 
many numbers of minutes per week. All right? Those with medical conditions, yes too. Okay? And that we healthy, yes. For those of us with obesity or you want to look after your weight, yes, you need to exercise that much. Okay? And again, that is not actually much because it's one hour of your day, uh, one hour of your whole 24 hours. Right? So basically, you're giving yourself a treat because you are, you know, your, your body is like, like a car, okay? Ma, badan kita ni macam macam jentera kereta. Kita kena gerakkan setiap hari. Okay, kalau misalnya uh, kita pergi holiday dah lama kan, kalau misalnya 6 bulan pergi holiday ke apa, bila balik, bila balik lepas tu nak nak nak, nak mula naik kereta kan, kereta tu kan kena eh, 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 ah gitu, kan? Ah gitu, gitu eh. Sebentar lagi ada orang gitu nak masuk eh. Okay, we have two guests today. A very a very exciting guest and all that okay so in a while i will bring that up so again what i'm trying to tell you guys okay is okay what do you mean by over exercise i'm going to give you some uh information on uh what is over exercise but again rule of thumb 300 minutes per week now if you want to have more health benefits you can do more yes okay all right again huh? so that one is uh your your recommendation who but if you want to do more yes you are allowed to do more okay but again don't exercise like four or five hours a day unless you're an athlete, okay, or you're training for a competition or something, all right? But again, all right, it also depends on your fitness level, okay? If your fitness level is really high and all that, okay, now you can do more, okay, without getting injured and then you get better, okay? So again, all right, so you need to put in your regular exercise. Now, again, we all know that if we don't move, everything breaks down. Ah, okay, right? So, guys, okay, I want to know why you exercise, okay? Why you exercise? Okay, write it down right now, okay? Write it down right now, and then I'm going to read what you're writing. Ah, somebody giving me love, yes, okay? Come on, give me some love, guys. Give me some love. This is ring for love, okay? Ring for love, guys. Okay, oh, ring for love. Ring for love. Okay, ah, ring for love, okay? All right, guys? Okay, give me a... What, color, color, okay? Cikgu Nora give me eight. Uh, red color, red color love. Okay, guys, can you give me uh, all in the comment section very colorful love as well? I love colorful. All right, so I'm going to read. Okay, you feel good and energy after exercise. Yes, energetic after exercise. All right, and then after that, I'm reading from the screen as well. All right, now Dr. D is brisk walking considered exercise. Okay, this is from Asa Noraini. Okay, I'll talk to you in a short while about uh, whether brisk walking is considered exercise. Okay, now that is a very good. Uh, good, uh, good question actually. All right, Asa, I will talk to uh, to you, uh, to everyone about this when we bring our 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 guests in a short while. Okay. All right. So again, very nice guys. I see so many people. I'm so happy, guys. Okay. Remember to take notes. Okay, for the benefit of those people who comes in late. All right. What is your takeaway point from what I said just now? Please write it down. All right. Please write it down so we don't miss the points. Okay. Everyone. Thank you very much. Yeah. Farida Binti Manso. Haja Farida. Okay. Siti Rahani Jaffa. Thank you very much for the love, 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 love. Everybody, let me see your love. Okay. I, I want to see someone uh, tag a friend's name. I haven't seen a friend's name here. Okay, guys, go. All right. Tag someone. Tag someone. Okay. Farida Said said to get endorphins. Now, okay. Now, let's talk about uh, the hormones and all that. Okay. All right. Okay. To get endorphins. Very good, Farida. All right, so again, okay, uh, uh, when we're talking about hormones and all that, right? Okay, uh, Rosiana, Rosiana Rahim actually asked, uh, asked this question. Very good question. All right, okay, while you're listening to this, okay, you can tag your friend, okay? I, I saw somebody tagging Hayati Hamdi there. All right, uh, very nice. Okay, I think it's no Huda Hamdi, right? Okay, very well then. Okay, everyone, go and tag someone. All right, thank you very much, guys. Okay, now I'm going to talk about uh, why does exercise, okay? This is what... Uh, the, a question that uh, Rosiana Rahim, okay, uh, asked me, all right, why does exercise, all right, why does exercise relieve our pains? Okay, now, first of all, okay, let's talk about is exercise medicine. Ah, exercise, if you think about it, right? All right, exercise, uh, okay, you need to do exercise to move your body, okay, because if you don't move your body, your body gets jammed, a lot of the organs will not be functioning properly, a lot of your hormones will not be functioning properly, so it affects the organs, and that's how, okay, aging happens, all right, some people age before their age, all right, some people get older before their age, right, and then you notice that people who are fit, okay, who takes care of their health and all that, they become healthier, and then after that, you notice they even look young, right, you see, so, Okay, some people exercise for looks. Yeah, why not, right? If it motivates you, why not, okay? But many people exercise for good health, all right? Now, 
Okay, Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, okay, actually also give, uh, prescribe guidelines, okay, recommending a focus, okay, towards uh, a non-drug usage of a way of taking care of our health. Now, exercise is one of it. Now, when we say exercise is medicine, yes, it can be a cure to your ailment, okay, but I want to be clear, okay, I want to be clear first, okay, exercise is medicine because, yes, okay, when we think about it, Exercise is like medicine in so many ways, all right? Now, exercise is prescribed. I prescribe your exercise. You come to me, I prescribe you exercise, right? Okay, if you have knee problems, I said, okay, do this uh, movements, okay, because it will strengthen your various part of your muscles that supports the knee, right? So, I'm prescribing you an exercise, okay? All right, it's like medicine, right? And then it is prescribed in a specific dosage, just like medicine. All right, so basically, I will tell you, okay, do this, okay, three times a week, okay? You do your stretches five times a day, okay, the 12 stretches. I will share it for those of you who don't know what's 12 stretches. I'll share it in the in the Dr. D.D. Mahmood Facebook, okay? Now, everybody, if you have not liked the page, like the page, okay? Dr. D.D. Mahmood Facebook, and I will share, okay, the 12 stretches there. Now, I, um, I prescribe that as... Okay, you do chest stretches five times a day so that your muscle, uh, your your joints will be softer and supple, so you don't get injury. Okay, because of tightness in the body. All right, and then after that, I said, okay, uh, and then I will tailor made it to every individual. So if two friends come to me, and then I will say, no, I will not give you similar exercise. That's what I even do in my Zoom exercise classes. Now, there are many people in my classes, but I tailor made it to them. All right. So again, you see, so it must be very specific in terms of, okay, uh, your modality, what types of exercise, your intensity, okay, how how much, okay, how, how hard you do it, all right, uh, frequency, how often you do it. And duration, how much, how long you do it. You see, so again, okay, it's it's very much like medicine. Now, okay, so exercise is medicine in that regard. But again, for those of you with medical conditions, okay, if you are being given um, uh, medicine from the doctor, you must eat it, okay? You must take it, all right? Okay, your medication. Mesti makan obat, jangan tak makan obat. Why? We need to control our medical condition, all right? Control, all right? So if you have high blood pressure, Take high blood pressure pills, okay, regularly, all right, to control your medical condition, all right, look after your sleep, look after your food, and then must exercise. Now, and then after that, when you go back to the doctor six or nine months later, then you'll notice that, okay, if you exercise regularly, the doctor will lessen, okay, your pills. Ah, see, so that's how, okay, that's how you take care of your health, okay? Everyone, excellent, okay? Now, uh, I will tell you, okay, I will bring our... Our, our our guests first, all right? And then I will tell you the answer to Rosiana's question. How does exercise relieve our pains? Okay, in the, in the meantime, while we bring our guests, I want you to, okay, strike that love button and tell me also why you like, okay? Okay, why you like it? So we'll, uh, why, uh, we'll, uh, we'll get back to Kat Sapia in a short while. Okay, everyone, okay, welcome to the show. Okay, Cik Sapia and Wawa, uh, Cik Sapia Rosi and Wawa Haddad. Okay, everyone, this is our two special guests right now. Okay, Wawa, can you give uh, me, uh, can you give us uh, an introduction of you? Okay, your name, your age, you know, what you're doing and all that. Okay, go ahead. Okay, uh, Assalamualaikum, everyone. Good evening. Okay, uh, I'm Wawa Haddad. 49 years old, just turned mm -hmm. 49. Yeah. Happy okay, birthday. Currently I'm a, okay, currently I'm a homemaker. Mm -hmm. And uh, I met Didi through the uh, F2, uh, Fat to Fit or F2F, we call it uh, Fat to Fit Singapore in 2013. So mm -hmm. at that point of time, I was, I, my weight was almost a three digit, which is almost 100 kilo. Yes. That's and a lot. Apart, yes. And apart from that, I'm actually having a medical condition. Um, I'm a bionic woman because I have metal in my uh, leg permanently okay. and uh, on top of my medical condition, I had uh, right shoulder, uh, what do you call it, the uh, shoulder inflammation. For three months, I was not able to lift up my arms at all, no feeling at all. And then uh, after I met Didi, it gets better. I can carry things, I, can, uh, I mean, I can carry things better now. And recently, I have injury in 2021, August 21. So, uh, again, uh, Didi actually advised me uh, what to do 
because at that point of time, when I was on wheelchair in August 2021, I thought that that's it. I won't be able to uh, have my uh, activity as per normal because I love to do brisk walking. And Chik Sapia was actually my uh, brisk walk uh, buddy when I was living in Tampanese. Right, there you go. All right. And then uh, tell me a little bit, okay? Uh, in a short while, we'll go to Chit Sapia. Yeah? Okay, Wawa, tell me a little bit when when uh, when you had your, your surgery, right? Uh, first, you mm-hmm. were telling us about, you know, you're doing brisk walking on a regular basis. Then what happens after that? Uh, okay, I used to do brisk walking before the surgery, yeah? before the surgery. I used to do brisk walking three to five days, uh, three to five times a week. And then uh, plus your weekend classes, which is uh, what we call it as a PPP, four hours, that's a, two hours on Saturday, two hours on Sunday. I was fine. So during uh, so after I had that surgery, I was wheel bound on a wheelchair, and doctor keep telling me you cannot walk yet, you cannot walk yet. He keep telling me that because he's work because I did tell the doctor can I walk the first question after the surgery I asked him can I walk he said you can walk but not yet. Then, uh, so as the time goes by, I was very stressed and depressed. I didn't even want to drink water because I was afraid that I will go, I will need to go to the washroom and I will actually trouble my family members. Okay, even when I was hospitalized, uh, the nurse actually came to me and asked, Madam, you haven't gone to toilet yet, you know, today. They even noticed that because I was so scared to drink water because I might cause, uh, I need help because I was not able to stand i was not able to walk at all at that point of time so mm. the the stress the depression i felt that i keep asking myself when will i be able to walk can i walk mm. again as per normal not not to not to mention about brisk walking just a normal walk as a human because at home when i was brought back home i have to depend on my husband and family members to actually assist me to the washroom uh, I can't even prepare the dishes. I can't even prepare food because they have to prepare for me. And then when they delay, for, because for example, they are, they have work to do at the same time. So when they had to attend to me and they actually late by 10, 15 minutes, I get so frustrated. I got so um, angry mm-hmm. for no reason, for that small little things that happen. So the frustration is building up. Then uh, it's building up. As the day goes by, because every time I go and visit the doctor, I will actually ask him, when can I start walking? They say, you can walk, but wait. Because mm. at that time, I was still having uh, the bandages and everything. It's still there. It's still very, very new, very raw. So, right. yes, it was very, very, very stressful. I know, I know. I think, I think, I think we have a photo of uh, of uh, Wawa on, on, on wheelchair, right? Yeah, there you yeah. go. There you see. So, you notice, right? I think was one yes. of my first, uh, sorry. This photo was one of my first uh, session with you when you actually approached me to do the upper body because at that time I thought I couldn't do exercise at all. I was so upset. I was so upset that right. when can I start doing exercise? The until right. you approached me, yeah. yeah. Right, right, right. Now, wah wah. Now. <laughs> okay. okay. I, I I really appreciate you. You know, uh, giving me uh, Jet Sapia. Now. Okay, love you guys. Okay, okay. I really appreciate you. Uh, you know, sharing, sharing. Uh, you know, from deep, deep in the heart. Because I think out there there are many people who uh, you know, uh, have uh, um, problems like this. You know, like sometimes when they have medical conditions, you know, they are not able to do a lot of things, and they depend on family members, and it frustrates them. You know, like macam eh dulu aku boleh jalan lah, sekarang tak boleh jalan. Kadang-kadang orang sakit kaki, right? Kadang-kadang nak nak apa tu nak 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 solat pun susah, betul tak? Hmm. And then you get very frustrated, you know. So that that's the thing. Okay, I I actually approach Wawa. Yes, okay. One of the things that I approach Wawa when I found out that eh she's on wheelchair. Okay, and then after I told Wawa kan, macam I cakap Wawa. Okay, and Wawa is so afraid, you know, because so afraid. Alamak, I cannot move. That means I'm gonna pull away. I'm gonna get fat, right? Something like that, right? Yeah, you see? So, again, it's a it's a vicious cycle. Okay, uh, kita tak gerak. Lepas tu, uh, kita makan mesti macam biasalah, uh, kan? Selalunya. Tapi kadang-kadang orang kalau tak makan lebih pun kadang-kadang, okay, you akan put on weight because of your metabolism, uh, you know, crash. You know what I mean? Your metabolism goes down because you don't eat enough. And then also, your body needs to get well. Ah, uh, Jadi, orang-orang yang sakit kat sana, selalu dia macam, dia macam kat pagar tau. They are on the fence. Dia orang nak makan, 
Okay, diorang kena makan untuk baik. Tetapi bila diorang makan, alright, and then diorang tak gerak, diorang tak boleh gerak, jadi bila diorang makan lebih, kan, uh, ataupun diorang makan cukup pun, because diorang tak bergerak, nanti dia puang weight, right? And then when they puang weight pula, okay, people with medical conditions on the legs, okay, ataupun surgery on the leg, bila diorang, diorang uh, uh, puang weight pula, ah, kaki lagi lah sakit. Tak boleh lah bergerak lagi. Uh, see? So one of the things I always advise is if you cannot do kaki, okay, nak, kita kena baikkan kaki. Okay, kita kena baikkan kaki. Example, I'm talking about arthritis, right? Okay, uh, we have known that people with arthritis, okay, you go to the doctor, doctor will also always say you need to move. Alright, because if you don't move, okay, the, 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 the fluid around the joints, okay, it's not activated and then after that you, you get very painful reactions, right? So again, you need to move, okay? As a human, we need to move. Exercise physiology, as a human, you need to move. We are made to move, all right? So again, okay, that's why I I, I always highlight that if you are injured, okay, yang yang rest tempat yang injured. Yang tak injured tu, we use that way. It's your strength. So, okay, like uh, in the case of Wawa, Wawa on wheelchair, right? We do the upper body. We do the upper body. Tangan kita kan kuat, uh, kita go and do dumbbells kan. Kita buat uh, exercise nak jogit kat, 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 kat wheelchair pun boleh, betul tak? Right? So you burn some calories and all that, right? You see? So that way, you get yourself active and then again, uh, you have to betulkan kaki tu. Example, alright? So that means you have to, once kalau misalnya, let's say kita cakap tentang lutut lah, alright? Or your knee. Once your knee is pain, right? You notice that, okay, every other part of the body, especially muscles surrounding the knee, becomes weaker because we don't we try not to use that leg kan betul tak ah right kalau misal one leg uh, kalau misal let's say kita ada apa macam terselio example you try not to use that leg apa right because sakit right ah see so what happens that you burden the other leg tapi at the same time you need to betulkan yang leg yang sakit tu so you need to strengthen the areas around it ah see so again you know uh, we are so happy just look at at wawa punya gambar mari kita tengok wawa punya uh, gambar merah tu Okay, kita tengok gambar merah wawa. Hmm. Ah, tengok tu. Ah, tu dia. Dia dah berjalan dah, kan? And and how long that uh, and how long uh, from your 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 wawa, your your wheelchair sampai this part that you boleh jalan ni? How long do you take? Okay, that I we exercise think together. From November. Mm-hmm. Last November because mm-hmm. I was advised also by you sampai kena marah jangan walk because <laughs> I start I uh, after one month uh, doing the exercise mm-hmm. with you Okay, uh, Wawa tak payah pegang tu Tak payah uh, pegang tu uh, After ex- one month exercise with you mm-hmm. I was still on wheelchair Support, mm-hmm. tapi I mm-hmm. dah boleh bangun Sikit-sikit, I dah boleh bangun mm-hmm. I dah boleh mm-hmm. jalan uh, From my bed to the washroom uh, I can move But not so much, I still can move But even exercise, if you remember I can start mm-hmm. standing Before mm-hmm. I was 100% seated So I can start standing so I was yes. very happy. I was very mm. happy. Uh, mm. Then I start to move with the wheelchair. I use the wheelchair to push me to walk. Because at one point I need a wheelchair. I need a walking stick even to stand, to stabilize myself. Yes, so, yes, uh, that's true. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then that's why, that's why you see also kan kadang-kadang bila, bila kita cakap tentang naughty ni kan, dan tak ada gil ni kan. Ha, ini nak ini nak masukkan Cik Sapia juga. Okay, jadi kita boleh cakap pasal the gil ni. Okay, uh, alright. Asa just now was asking about brisk walking. Brisk walking is a very good uh, exercise. Alright, it's a very good exercise. Okay. Uh, 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 Panji, can you mute uh, Cik Sapia for a while? And then I will tell you when to unmute her. Okay? Okay, sekejap. Okay, uh, uh, Asa was asking about uh, whether brisk walking is a good exercise. Yes, it's a good form of exercise. Now, exercise bukan saja brisk walking. Ramai orang ingat exercise brisk walking tu saja exercise ataupun uh, exercise jogging itu saja exercise. Kalau saya dah buat brisk walking ke jogging ke lari, uh, itu saja. Tetapi itu sa- itu sebenarnya satu daripada banyak exercise yang kita perlu buat untuk badan kita. Kerana badan kita uh, perlu macam-macam. Dia perlu nak jadi kuat kan. Uh, jadi kalau misalnya kita berjalan saja uh, itu uh, uh, kita kuatkan stamina kita. Jadi kita tak penat itu aja. Tapi kita tak kuatkan otot-otot kita supaya kita boleh angkat lebih berat ke kan. Ataupun kita tak buat flexibility ataupun regang otot. Kalau kita tak buat regang otot uh, nanti kalau misalnya dah lepas senaman tu rasa badan kita ketat sangat ah gitu dah kan jadi kalau macam badan ketat ah itu datangkan uh, where you get your injury again you know uh, so uh, next uh, next week okay i'm going to talk about the various forms of exercises we need all right maybe i'm even going to talk about body beautiful okay ah go get you kan 
Jangan cesap, get you. Okay, cesap. Okay, cesap cakap get you dulu. Lepas tu uh, introduce yourself first, okay? Go. Get you. <laughs> okay. Uh, I start now, eh. Okay, my name is Sapia Binti Rosdi. I'm uh, 70 years old this year. I uh, retired police woman. Okay, I want to tell you about uh, my stroke. Uh, I suffered from stroke in 1981 during my second pregnancy. All this due to my high blood pressure and I tak pernah exercise. Then I like to eat salty food. Itu yang menyebabkan uh, high blood pressure tu very high. Hmm? Then because of that, I suffered sudden uh, weakness and numbness uh, on my right face. Right face, arm, leg, semua dah tak boleh bergerak. Even if I, I want to drink, I feel that the cup already at the mouth, but yet the cup is not there, and then the water will drip like that. You know? Like drooling or drooling? Ah, just drooling like that. Mm. Then after that, uh, I, I was not hospitalized at that time because the doctor said it's a, just a minor a stroke. Uh, then after that, I, from there, I cut down all my uh, salt intake, then I start to uh, do my own exercise. Because of that, I uh, I fear to go out. I tak, takut nak keluar. I takut jatuh ke, nanti I pingsan ke, siapa nak angkat I kan, gitu kan. Lagi pregnant and all this thing kan. So, I just uh, stay at home. But luckily, uh, because I uh, I mengandung twins eh, jadi doctor give me uh, six months dah duduk rumah. So, luckily, I I, I duduk rumah lah. So, I, I, I don't uh, feel uh, takut nak keluar lagi. Ah, itulah. Hmm. So about uh, after the retirement tadi ya, eh, I really need uh, an active life, you know. My daughter uh, suggested I join you at the uh, vendor room. Vendor room. That, that was in 2010, you know. Then after hmm. that I follow you, exercise, I never stop exercise, whatever program you have, I follow. Until 2014, you have uh, Fat to Fit Singapore, hmm. I join. I like this program very much because uh, uh, my weight go down uh, mm. from uh, 72 to 65 kg. Even my mm. my high blood pressure also uh, macam terkawal lah. All mm. this uh, result because of my effort and your effort to uh, advise me to do exercise regularly. Then mm. from that better. Mm-hmm. But, uh, but. Lah, tapi, but nanti lagi satu cerita eh. Uh, 2019, I had a fall. I had a fall and after that I cannot walk at all, you know. Uh, then I uh, I don't I don't feel pain at that time. But after two months later, I feel the pain so much that I cannot walk. And then my daughter bring me to emergency unit. Mm-hmm. Uh, then uh, from there, the doctor uh, x-ray, then they find out that I, I have mild osteoarthritis. Mm-hmm. Uh, then uh, this one all due to the old age, but I don't give mm-hmm. up. I don't give up. Mm-hmm. Although they give me rehab, acupuncture, I still exercise. Then I follow you every week without fail. All then right. after that, I, uh, I I I just join. Uh, when you call me at that time, is that exactly I really need help? Then he call me. Do you want to join your help wise one? Then I be reluctant. Maybe uh, not this time yet. Then after mm-hmm. that thing over, and after two weeks, I decided to join you. Mm-hmm. Chesab, yeah. I think when you had the injury, right? When you had the injury. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, I think I remembered. Uh, okay, one of the questions that Zubaida Samsudin. Okay, welcome to the show. Uh, uh, Zubaida. Zubaida was asking whether uh, brisk walking daily, actually, you put a lot of stress on the lutut. And that was something I actually mentioned to your daughter. Okay, uh, I think Sharina. Okay, uh, Tate Sapia at one point of time, I think she was actually walking a lot. Okay, she was walking a lot, a lot, okay. Uh, berkilo-kilo kan, betul tak Tate Sapia? Berkilo-kilo daripada East Coast sampai Marina Barrage. Oh, okay, she was doing that every day. Kan, she was doing that every day. You see, so what happens was that I was worried. I was worried. I even told the the, the doctor, I said, uh, you got to call your mom to come to class. Because in class, right, in class what I do is that we strengthen the legs. So that if you do brisk walking and all that, okay, you don't damage the knees, you know, you don't injure your leg, you know, your leg becomes stronger. Because remember what I said just now? Okay, I think Wawa also suffered the same thing, right? Because you tend to, apa tu, kan? Ah, ini dua-dua ni, dia dah gay lah, kan? 
<laughs> I must say because you see what happens that okay uh durang dah dah selalu get used to brisk walking all right jadi bila bila macam injured tu okay the injury is due to wear and tear because korang apa tu jalan-jalan uh, jalan-jalan jalan you don't do any supplementary complementary exercise to uh, strengthen the area that's why ramai orang injured selalu kalau you nampak orang kalau macam jalan kadang-kadang oh, mula-mula okey tapi lama-lama kaki berbalut dan sebagainya because they are doing the same movements kan kita jalan kan depan 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 gitu aja same like people who's running kan all right they keep doing the same repetitive movements so you damage the joints okay you stress the joint that's where number one kadang-kadang you will have injury And number two, because it is weak, it is weak. You don't strengthen the areas around it. Okay, that's why even people who dance, right? Okay, kadang-kadang orang tu, they like to dance. Dance, 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 dance. Dancers are, you go right and left, turn around. Okay, but if you don't strengthen the knee for you to rotate, pivot, all right? Sometimes you can have, okay, uh, apa tu, um, a sprain, all right? Or strain, okay, that leads to sprain. Uh, see, so that's why, okay, uh, untuk uh, soalan yang ditanya oleh Zubaida Samsudin, yes, you can do brisk walking, but then you have to make sure that you don't do the same muscle movement every day. Ah, see, so that's why if you want to do brisk walking, you can do like on off. Okay, hari ni kita berjalan, besok kita buat something else. That's why I always encourage, right, everyone, that's why PPP, uh, just now you you dengar uh, that Wawa mentioned, PPP is actually party pagi-pagi, It's on Zoom, guys, okay, <laughs> where we actually uh, devote an hour in the morning or uh, two hours in the morning of Saturday and Sunday for us to betulkan body muscle workshop lah. Eh, betulkan badan-badan kita, kaki-kaki kita yang <laughs> yang mungkin ada apa tu, macam weak and all that. There you go, okay. That's the reason why I think Wawa and Cik Sapia, kan, remember? I think Cik Sapia also when you were injured that time, kan, you pergi hospital, you pergi rehab, you pergi apa lagi Cik Sapia? Ceritakan sikit. Ceritakan sikit Cik Sapia. Ah uh, tak dengar Cik Sapia. Okay, ah uh, Cik Sapia has to be unmuted. Okay, Panji. Alright, we'll wait for Panji to on the the mic for Cik Sapia. Alright, what 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 about you? I mean like does does uh okay, uh, testing Cik Sapia, can you ah uh, okay, Cik Sapia go ahead. Yeah. Okay, uh, during that time, then I uh, kena pergi uh, ni, rehab, then I uh, puncture every week without fail. Then ah, after that... Uh, Another thing is that I think you you pakai tongkat kan at that point of time, remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I cannot walk, then my daughter bought for me a tongkat. Hmm. Mm -mm. I really need the tongkat because I really not even can lift up my my both legs. That is right. terrible. Yeah. Right, right. And then how do you feel like macam when when apa uh, when Didi uh, talk to you kan okay you have to strengthen your leg and all that. How do you feel after that? How do you feel? I, when you call me at that time I was not convinced at all because I under treatment in hospital mm -hmm. kan. Then after some time after two weeks I think so much I think so much then after that I decided to join you. When I, I you were joined about the pain right. You were telling me about the pain right. You said. Yeah, the, the pain, pain the pain is terrible. Uh, macam 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 mana? Dia macam uh, something like inside ada nail like that. No, menyucuk-nyucuk like that. Then I feel I cannot take it anymore. Then I join your help wise one and two. From there, I recovered nanti. Uh, then, yeah, Alhamdulillah. Then I yeah. I do my own. Beside that, I follow you PPP. Then I do at home. I do extra. Mm -hmm. uh, follow mm -hmm. my body, of course. Uh, mm -hmm. Then from there, I recovered. I recovered well. Until, right, very, mm -hmm. uh, until at the gate, after that, that graduate from the <laughs> price one and two, I go and walk again. One fine day, <laughs> my, my both knee was locked. Then I cannot walk at all. Then I called my husband to fetch me home. Uh, <laughs> then after oh. that, I think to depression. Uh, I, this is terrible. Then the, one fine day, I call you. I say, I want to join your curve. Then, you, mm. then, you, then the first word you say, But this time, jangan degil eh. That's the word I <laughs> <laughs> You see, the thing is that apa tau. Okay, <laughs> saya tahu, saya faham sangat, okay. Because we have always been active. Tiba-tiba we suffer injuries, right? So everyone out there, please, okay, you need to be kind to your body. Kalau you suffer injuries, that means the body minta tolong supaya you rest. Okay, tapi macam saya, uh, saya cakap dengan Wawa kan tadi kan, you rest the lower body, upper body kena kuatkan. Because there's this thing called transfer factor. Macam kadang-kadang when you have injury on the left side, 
if you do on the right side okay you do wait wait maybe uh you angkat apa you buat stretch band on the right side example or dumbbells on the right side you will notice that there is transfer factor over here ada cpcp lah kekuatan dah, uh, kat sini juga ah uh, you see so so these are the things that i was telling uh, my two girls here lah kan eh jadi i cakap okay sabar jangan tak sabar okay especially kalau misal kita dah injured tu kalau nak baik uh, orang yang sakit kaki kalau nak baik okay uh, macam eh tengok orang berjalan kita pun nak berlari lah, macam tu kan sabar okay sabar see? so kita kena kuatkan bila dah kuat so uh, whenever i think uh, cik sapia i think in the first health wise i think first ke second health wise saya cakap dengan cik sapia cik sapia you jalan you try jalan ambil video bagi kat saya tapi tak bagi kan ah terus hilang dia buat sendiri terus injet Ah, kan? Because what happens? You push yourself, isn't it? You push yourself. Ah, uh, kan? That's why I think Wawa also, right? I I always tell Wawa, jangan, jangan the guilt slowly. Yeah. Because I'll be the first person to push you. Of course, I take care of you. Tapi you be, I be the first person to push you when I know you're ready. Ah, that's the thing. You see. So kadang-kadang because I think you have to not push through pain. Okay, that's one of the things. Okay. Ah, uh, one of the thing I think I was I wanted to answer. Ah, uh, Rosiana. Okay, Rosiana was asking this very good question. Now, how does exercising, okay, relieve our pain? All right. Now, how? Ah, uh, bila bila you exercise kan ada orang macam arthritis tiba-tiba dia tak nak exercise lagi lah sakit kan kau you rasa dia punya sakit tu sentiasa kat situ tapi when you start exercising and all that you you will notice i think si Sapia just join me in january and right now i think she has seen a lot of changes i think wawa is just join me right berapa bulan aja pun kan and then not only that i think both of them has lost weight ah gitu kan all right walaupun dia orang tak boleh bergerak banyak tapi they have lost weight right you see and then uh, that's why you see um, how does exercise actually helps you to relieve our joint pain okay now what happens is this okay listen to this well 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 muscle when muscle gets weaker all right your body right gets tighter betul tak when your muscle gets weaker you suffer an injury you become very tight eh rasa tight uh, that's where uh, you notice that you feel the pain very very much right you notice that all right and then once you 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 start moving that leg okay that that, that exercise movements okay all right and then you become stronger all right and then you 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 become distressed you know your whole body becomes distressed all right and then you notice that okay regular exercise actually gives up this uh, thing called serotonin okay serotonin is uh, you know is um, increased serotonin levels okay uh, whereby okay it, it becomes like a kind of a morphine Ah, macam dia mask the pain. That's why bila bila exercise tu kita tak rasa kita tak rasa sakit tau. Lepas tu pun macam you tengok eh macam you feel really good. And then especially when you exercise also, your body releases endorphins. Right. See so endorphin macam mana? Uh, ialah hormon ceria. Selepas senaman, semua akan rasa body confident, kan rasa macam happy, right? I see. So all these are giving us okay that that uh, that feeling that eh actually the it must the feeling of pain actually and then of course with the exercise the blood circulation the strengthening and all that your body becomes better uh, that's why you know uh, most of you are not feeling that that pain you know as much pain as before okay because we are moving the leg and all that all right so again and as well we we know the exercise you know works also on mental health you know then you de-stress betul tak how many of you wawa sama cik sap you feel good ke tidak bila senam tu Right. Wow, wow, what do you do when you when you malas? Oh, when I don't feel when the malas come, mm -hmm. I actually uh just uh, play the YouTube your your talk for the exercise. <laughs> or I actually choose uh the music that you used to play in our PPT. Uh -huh. So automatically uh I will just start to move. Then I just tell myself, hey, my so bangun lah, get up and ah, do the exercise. There you go. Very good. See, that's why I always tell people, okay, bila malas kan, okay, Panji, can you put up my uh, YouTube, uh, YouTube punya link over here? Okay, everyone out there, okay, kalau misal rasa malas, if you're a little bit lazy, okay, just go on to my YouTube, okay, you can find a lot of Dr. D's dose, you know, a lot of, uh, you know, uh, uh, teeth and all that, uh, good sleep lah, motivation chat lah, also power of food, everyone, okay, uh, banyak benda dekat sini, okay, and then also, there's also functional fitness, kalau kurang nak senam if you all want to exercise and all that go and find uh de-stress with dr d weight loss with dr d you know all right and then again if you are lazy never mind just on the the the, the video okay just on the video thank you very much panji all right just on the video all right 
And then after that, right, you just let me exercise. Ah, gitu je. Tengok je. Tak payah buat apa-apa. Tengok je. Biar Dr. Didi exercise. Ah, kan? Nanti lama-lama akan terpanggil. Ah, macam gitu, kan? So, those are the things that we use to actually motivate our body. So, again, everyone, okay? Everyone. And again, in healthy people, okay, exercise increases the threshold of induced pain. So, that means you notice, right, when you are fitter, right, you can do more exercise and you don't feel painful like when you start off. Right? You notice that? And then you notice you can do better. You notice that when you exercise, you're actually getting fit for your next exercise. Right? Not? Right? So you become better with each exercise. I see Chego Nora uh, is here and all that. Marian Shakira. Okay? Dance is also a form of cardiovascular fitness exercise. So, guys, don't miss next week. I'm going to talk about body beautiful next week. Alright, so I'm going to talk about body beautiful and what you need to do to, to make sure that your body is beautiful. Alah, oh, get you eh. Okay, now, again, this thing called no pain, no gain. Okay, must you push through uh, pain. Okay, now again, if you get injured, okay, kalau you ada arthritis, kalau misal you ada medical conditions and all that, right? So, you don't push through pain. Okay, maksud dia kalau ada menyocok, benda yang menyocok. Okay, stop. Kalau ada immediate sharp pain, stop. Alright, stop whatever you're doing and all that, okay? Now, kalau sengal, that's muscle soreness. Muscle soreness is okay. Dia macam, kadang-kadang orang cakap demam urat. Sebenarnya bukan demam urat. Macam badan tu, eh, soreness. Besok pagi, selepas senam nak bangun tu, alah, macam slowly gitu. Jalan pun dah macam robot. Betul tak? Ah, see? So that one is muscle soreness, that's fine. Tapi anything that you do, kalau ada sharp pain, don't push through. That's why Wawa and Cik Sapia, when they are recovering, okay, they push through. Okay, that's why they get injured again. Ah, gitu. That's why I always, always remind, jangan degil. Okay, give ourselves some time to recover. Boleh baik. Okay, must listen to the body. Okay, now, everyone. Now, after you exercise, what do you do? You must rest. Jaga tidur. Alright, alright. 7 to 9 hours of sleep. Okay, have a nap. 15 minutes or 1 hour of nap. Okay, daily. Alright, and then, kalau misal dah lepas senam tu, kalau misal ada bengkak, I sit, put inside your towel. Alright, eyes, eyes. Every two hours, eyes. You see, so that the bengkak can come down. So when the bengkak come down, alright, the lymphatic fluid, okay, has been drained out and all that, then you recover faster. You see, these are your ways for pain management, okay? And then lagi satu, okay, for those of you who, who cannot sleep, go to my Dr. Didi Mahmood YouTube channel, okay? That's the science of sleep. It's free, guys, okay? So subscribe, okay? Every subscription, every, every you subscribe, right? One dollar, I donate to. Um, uh, Darul Isan Orphanage. There you go. Okay, Darul Isan Orphanage. Uh, uh, under under all our names, so that we'll be healthy together. There you go. Okay. So everyone, okay. All right. How would you know if you are over exercising? Like I say, all right. Unless you're an athlete or preparing for competition, some some athletes, okay. Um, you know, uh, I was a consultant for University of Malaya. They train about what five six hours, four or five hours, and all that. But they do have their have their rest. Okay, they do have their rest. But again, if you're not an athlete. You don't have to exercise for five hours. Actually, about one hour, one hour odd, and then after that, you do uh, your stretches and all those kind of things, okay? You need to do the right types of exercise. That's more than enough, okay? Uh, just make sure that you have your 300 minutes of exercise. Now, how would you know if you are over-exercising, okay? If you're not happy after exercise. If you're not happy during exercise, after exercise, okay? Uh, that means if you're not happy, that means you're very miserable and all those kind of things, okay? Then you must look. Uh, is it because, you know, you 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 exercising too much? That means no rest. That's why I always give my girls rest, right? So what do you do when you rest? You do active rest. You don't just rest and lie down on the bed because you will undo what you did the last few, few times. Just like bed rest, when you have exercise and then you get injured, for one month you lie on the bed, you will get older. You know, your body is not moving. So what you need to do? Active rest. You do your stretches. You go for a swim, you know. So swimming is actually not body weight, uh, you know. Uh, uh, it's, 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 it's supported by the water. So you don't stress your joints, you know what I mean? All right? You don't stress your body, you see. So you need to do that. And again, for those people with arthritis, selalu doctor cakap pergi swimming saja, right? Because arthritis tak sakit, kan? Betul? Yes, you can do swimming, all right? Tetapi you also need to do land exercise because that's where you need to uh, angkat you punya body weight so that your muscles, okay, yang supporting that knee joint will be stronger. That's why many people uh, selalu ingat, okay lah, kita pergi swimming aja. Tapi they never improve their, okay, their, their strength. You see, that's the thing. All right, so must have 
proper exercise and all that. Okay, guys. All right. So another thing is that okay, what would you do? What would you do? Okay, ah, uh? mm, okay. Let me let me let me uh ask some questions. Okay, guys. Okay, before that, okay, everyone, let me share with you. Okay, uh, Newati said, "Dulu, I nak angkat kaki pun berat." Now dah jadi macam kung fu panda. Yes, 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 kung fu panda. And and Newati has exercised your lost weight also, yeah. Okay, many people here. Esa Noraini, Dr. Didi, is it true if we obesity once with high blood pressure and if we lose weight, our blood pressure will go down too? Okay, if you have high blood pressure. Okay, siapa kat sini? I think uh, Cik Sapia used to have high blood pressure kan? Lepas tu you lose weight and talk talk to us, Cik Sapia sikit uh, and tell Esa Noraini. <laughs> Uh, okay, last time I have uh, blood pressure quite high. High blood pressure. Then, mm. uh, high blood pressure quite high. Mm. Then I, uh, I when I joined your Helpwise, Helpwise Singapore, then mm. uh, you know that before the program started, we have to go to doctor, right, Didi? Mm -hmm. I remember the the green uh, cross there. The yes, doctor yes. checked me. <laughs> doctor was uh, the doctor was telling me, oh, your high blood pressure is terrible. Then after mm. after the course finished. Then I, we come back again to check up. Then doctor said, wow, very good. He said, yeah, your blood pressure. There you go. And you, not that's only that, right? Your blood pressure goes down and then your weight also goes down, right? Yes, that's right. Right. You see, so I think Chase Sapia has proven. I think that time when she came to me, she was obese. Right? And then yes. with medical conditions. Okay, I've also uh, done several studies. Okay, uh, kajian. Okay, tentang berat badan dan uh, wanita. Okay, bagaimana uh, senaman dapat menurunkan kadar kolesterol. Okay, kolesterol level goes down. Okay, high blood pressure goes down. Okay, blood sugar is maintained. Okay, Wawa, you have uh, blood sugar problems as well, right? So, tell us yes. a little bit on how exercise helps you. Uh, okay, uh, because of the exercise that I managed to do again recently, mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. since the recovery, uh, the sugar level is nice maintained. It's in a good uh, yes. status, good level. And yeah, I don't have yeah. blood pressure. Mm -hmm. uh, for medication, I don't need to take any uh, high blood pressure because I don't have medication. that problem. Yes. Mm. Okay. So I, I'm control. very happy. I'm very happy. I'm very happy that, you know, your your blood sugar level is well maintained and all that. Because, again, blood sugar level, kalau tak maintained, it will also uh, affect you punya recovery. Okay? Because wounds yeah. and all that, you know, basically right. people, kalau misalnya ada uh, midline diabetes even, eh, kadang-kadang recovery, luka tu nak baik tu lambat sikit kan. Tapi mm -hmm. luka wawa dah baik dah kan. Ah, see? Yeah. So uh, now nak nak kasih wawa berlari pula. Ah gitu. <laughs> okay, so I want to say hello to OG Ibrahim. Alright, many people over here. Okay, guys, take your friend because right now we are going to go to our lucky draw right now. Okay, everybody, take your friend, share. Okay, good luck everybody. And then when I... Do this, okay? For good luck, everyone. Press on that love many, many times, guys. Good luck. Press on that love. I'm going to give you eight love. Come on. Come on, everybody. Can you see me eight love? All right. There you go. Good luck, everyone. Lucky draw. Lucky draw, guys. All right. Elder no Day. Yay. Okay. Very good. Well done, guys. Okay. Well done, guys. Okay. Uh, congratulations to Elder Nodin. Okay. Winning $30. Okay. Lucky draw from Dr. D's Dose episode 21. Okay. Now, guys. Okay. Uh, I say hello to uh, Cikgu Nora as well. Nahuda Hamdi. Okay. Rosila. Okay. Rosila is here. And then after that, we see Fazida Manap. Okay. Many people here today. Okay. Jam RNN. Okay. Very well done, guys. Okay. So, remember. Okay. Press on that love. Love, 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 love. I think that's why they, that's why I think Elda wins, you know, because she presses too, uh, too many loves. Huh? Okay, okay, guys, let's go for the second lucky draw as well. Come on. All right, guys. There you go. Okay, ice cream, ice cream, love. Okay, ring for love. All right, there you go. Okay, good luck, everybody. Good luck, good luck, good luck, good luck. All right, there you go. Nice one. Yeah, Jam R N N. Congratulations, Jam. Okay, uh, Mama Jam, congratulations there. There you go. Okay, guys, I want you to tell me, all right, what is the takeaway points from today's uh, today's uh, topic? Okay, can you write it over there right now? Okay, can you write it over there right now? All right. So again, all right, and then I'm going to read uh, some of the, the valuable uh, thing that you all write, okay? I think uh, you go on the, on the, on the segment. Uh, I think many people actually write, okay, what are their... I think, let me see, eczema, I think. Uh, somebody wrote about eczema. Okay, uh, yes, exercise is medicine. I was having a very bad eczema. 
flare up and after I started exercising with Dr. D, uh, it has cleared up totally. I was suffering for a year plus and now it's gone. Okay, Newati Samad. Okay, Body Beautiful next week. Okay, I'm going to talk about Body Beautiful next week. Okay, don't miss next week's uh, episode, guys. Okay, all right. So you see, so you see that exercise is medicine. Exercise is medicine. It helps you recover from your medical conditions. But you must listen to your body always. Jangan tak sabar. Mesti sabar. Jangan degil. All right. Give our body some time to get well. Okay. And then after that, okay, doesn't mean you injured. Yes. Okay. That's why. Okay. Everyone, okay. Zubaida said, doesn't mean you injured your leg. You cannot walk. Okay. Uh, you cannot walk. That means, eh, all right, you can actually recover, inshallah. Okay. But you have to do it properly. Now, again, I uh, I have a, a, a program that's coming up uh, untuk kuatkan kaki, okay, for Ramadan. It's starting on 1st of March. I'm going to put it up on Dr. D.D. Mahmud Facebook, okay? Watch out for it, okay? So, you guys can can join in and then uh, betulkan kaki tu, yang apa tu, yang mana sakit-sakit kaki and all that. So that, uh, you know, insyaAllah, okay, when we betulkan kaki, okay, supaya kita dapat buat terawih kan, solat, eh, uh, during Ramadan, insyaAllah, ya. Yeah? Siapa yang tak dapat apa tu tak dapat apa tu uh, sujud and all that <laughs> Esa Nuraini said sabar jangan degil betul tu dengar tu ah ha, sabar jangan degil ambil rotan ah rotan ah kan gitu kan okay guys okay can you write why okay two questions i want you to write here okay before we we end the show i want you to write what is your takeaway point number one. okay before you leave ah ha, what is your takeaway point all right number two. okay why do you like today's session all right Later, okay, after the show, Sapia, Cik Sapia, Wawa, and myself, we will go into the, into uh, reading all your comments and we will all reply to you. Okay, so remember these two questions. Okay, number one, what is your takeaway points from today's, okay, today's session? And then number two, okay, number two, what's the, what's the, what's the question? Number two question, why do you like the episode today? And then maybe if, if you guys want to put down what you want to see in the next episode, that'd be really good. Okay, then maybe I'll make your wish come true. Okay, all right, guys. All right. Uh, of course, uh, let me see. Okay, uh, I want to, okay, before we end the show, all right, I want I want to thank uh, our, our Cik Sapia Rosdi, uh, Wawa Haddad, okay, all right, and then um, uh, uh, to all of you, I mean, it's, it's always been very fantastic, okay, uh, you you guys are being the audience in, um, you're very interactive audience, selalu ambil notes gitu eh, macam secretary, dia cakap sekolah gitu eh, all right, so take notes, okay, and then after that, you put it down in the comment section. Now, before we leave everyone, I want you to take a photo of three of us right now, and then after that, take a selfie of you, and then lepas tu, post up on your Facebook and tag me. Okay, ataupun you can also send it to me via WhatsApp and then I will post up all your photographs yang you selfie tengah tengok Dr. Didos, okay? Everyone, let's take a photo together. All right, come. Okay, everyone, take out your 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 camera and take our photos right now. Okay, guys, okay, smile everyone. Okay, one, two, and three. Okay, hang on ah. Huh? Okay, I'm going to take a photo as well, okay? And then after that, I'm going to, okay, make sure you take your selfie and then send it to me, okay? Send it to me, okay? Um, This one final, I'm just going to take everybody's photo. Okay, smile guys, okay? And one, and two, and three. Well done, okay? Thank you very much, Sapia, okay, and Wawa for uh, sharing your valuable, uh, you know, uh, input today, okay? We all, I think we are very, very inspired by you. And then, uh, daripada saya, okay, I, I I wish all of you, okay, I pray for all of you, your your health, okay, take good care of yourself because there's only one of you, ah, see, there's only one of you. You must take good care of yourself, okay. And then remember, okay, to exercise. If you want to look younger, exercise. If you want to recover from medical conditions, exercise. If you want to feel happy, exercise. If you want to look more beautiful, exercise. Okay. So remember to take rest. Okay, look after your food. Okay, and then after that, look after your rest and your sleep and then de-stress as well. Okay, everyone. Okay, and um, finally, on a note from Dr. Dee's dose, okay, congratulations to our lucky draw winners. And then I want to say, okay, I will see you again next week on Dr. Dee's dose at 6 p.m. on Wednesday. Don't forget. And after this, make sure you share this, all right, and then you check your friend, okay, make them watch this okay because this will be really helpful for everyone that you love out there okay share it okay like dr dd mahmud facebook okay and then uh subscribe to dr dd mahmud youtube okay everybody okay you have a good week ahead take good care of yourselves okay because i love you okay and i know you love me too okay everyone sign up from dr distos everyone say love 
There you go. Bye-bye.